This one is all to do with silk painting, which you may or may not have heard of. It's quite similar to Batik, where you will put um, silk paint on it and it will sort of spread out to the barriers of the silk or the gut. Uh, this is called gutter. Um, now, you need some of this, you need some silk paints and paintbrushes. Now, I quite often work on something like this a uh, piece of paper first to sort of draw out my design you can be a little bit more intricate with this design than compared to um, the batik it's a little bit easier to control so say for example you were looking at the Tamara Phillips design um, you could start adding bits and pieces on here so you might just want to draw like your basic shape that you're going to end up following then put it down and I would add a little bit of masking tape it just prevents it from moving around quite so much it's quite flimsy silk it's also quite expensive so can you try if you're ever using this not to waste any bit so if you're cutting a bit make sure it's the sort of the size that you use you want to use and all of that okay so if i'm doing something like this what i would be looking at is i'd use these bits of gutter now you can do all one color we've got silver white copper gold and, and we've also got a colorless one um, as well so you can sort of decide what colour you want to do yours in. So what I would sort of start off with is the outline of this. Now they come off like that. Now sometimes these can get a little bit blocked. So if they do, just use a pin to sort of unblock that little bit. Okay. And then you can sort of start adding your detail in. So you just gently squeeze don't press too hard and it should start being able to sort of draw under here you don't need loads of it something like this so you can add bits and pieces to it so if I was to start off with this, I'd do my basic outline first and then start adding detail in. Now if I wanted to, I could use more than one colour. So instead of just using this one, I could use uh, bits of gold, bits of the copper colour. You add um, silk paint to this afterwards. So think about what colours you might want to use on that as well. So say for example I'm doing this, I could then start adding in really fine detail of the circles on Tamara Phillips' work that you might be seeing here. And I could add that and build that up. Something like that. Now, I'm going to finish this off in a second while you guys get on with something else. Um, but this is an option available for you today if you want to have a go. 